sisters, brothers, siblings in the Episcopal Church in Northern Indiana, grace and peace be with you and Jesus, the crucified and risen one. Greetings, friends. I'm standing here at St. Augustine's Church in Gary, Indiana, around their baptismal font, and I'd like to welcome you on this reflection on the third Sunday in Lent on this question from the baptismal covenant. Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? Friends, we all know that Lent is a season for us uh, to focus on repentance and renewal and penitence. In the Catechism from a New Zealand prayer book, I want to read these questions and answers. What is our nature as human beings? We are part of God's creation, made in God's image, male and female, we are created. What does it mean to be made in the image of God? We are free to reflect God's own nature, to make choices, to love, to create, to reason, and to live in harmony with God and all creation. However, we are also free to disobey or deny the reality of God. Question. Why is there so much disharmony in our world and in human lives? Answer, from the beginning, we have misused our freedom. We work against God and put ourselves in place of God. We sin, we fall. Question, what help is there? Answer, God has acted in Jesus to bring us back to a loving and forgiven relationship. In that action, all humanity is offered recreation and holiness. So my friends, I'd invite you this coming week to think about that question. Will you persevere and will you repent? Will you persevere and will you repent? I know in my own life, uh, there are plenty of things that come from the litany of penitence that we uh, prayed on Ash Wednesday and Every Sunday, we have the opportunity to reflect on our sinfulness. So I invite you this week to, re to reflect on that particular question. So let us pray. Have mercy on me, O God, in your great kindness. In the fullness of your mercy, blot out my offenses. Wash away all my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. Do not cast me away from your presence nor take your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your help again and strengthen me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners will turn again to you. You desire no sacrifice or I would give it, but you take no delight in burnt offerings. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise.